Hello, we are Kenton and Sandy Brown with Ageless RVing, and I'm doing a review on the Demco Recon and uh, versus the uh, Kurt Crosswing. So, first of all, here is the uh, Demco Recon sitting here in the garage of my friend where we're staying for a couple weeks and I had that installed and did a test run on it everything was torqued to specs and it had terrible chucking very noisy and you know there are all these reviews about you know less chucking and I don't know what that was less from you know compared to and also know that a lot of the reviews are sponsored in fact e-trailer of course they they're a dealer and um, but the few that I could find uh, they seem to be sponsored which uh, kind of skews uh, the features or the issues uh, with the uh, with the hitch so this is going back to e-trailer and I have a a reflection a 303 RLS and I'm walking to the front here and uh, I'll show you the uh, Kurt Crosswing uh, I'm pulling with a Ram 2500 Cummins diesel and uh, I originally had the slider hitch a Kurt Q20 in there and uh, uh, there's the, the top there and it's 300 pounds and with a 2500 and uh, this fifth wheel uh, I, I wasn't able to get my my weights acceptable at all so um, I was about 150 average over on my back axles so I installed this uh, Kurt Crosswing and I took it out for a tow test and it was amazing again no sponsors here and uh, no financial gain from this review I only have like three followers so not exactly uh, a YouTube type um, you know YouTube money-making thing for me um, so uh, I guess I'll start here this uh, as you've seen in other reviews you just torque it down to what it's supposed to be you've got the, this you know the uh, cylinder there for the grease to replace the grease fitting it's not a probably called a cylinder but uh, I have the Moride uh, rubber box uh, rubber pin box uh, which I, I like a lot. It did add another, I think, like 70 pounds or 80 pounds on top of the uh, stock uh, pin box. Um, but I think it's worth it. I think it does help. So, um, able to, on my back, back axles, I was... Uh, you know well over on those I think well depending on how I load I, I was somewhere between I as low as 140 and as high as 220 uh, over on my back axles uh, so with this I'm a hundred to the good and uh, that that is very helpful uh, as far as reviews of the installation um, let me get up here and talk about some of the different parts of this uh, so this twist and pull out as you've likely seen in other reviews uh, what I didn't really get a good picture of in other reviews is this piece here it uh, is where the uh, pin box uh, attachment there drops down in so you you back up a little bit high and until you know you're against it then you just lower down in there and it just pops in so 
and unhooking is even easier. You just, you know, set up all your safety items, uh, ch chuck the wheels and all of that, and uh, then uh, raise up your fifth wheel until it just comes disconnected. It, it comes apart. Raise it up a little more and, and drive away. Now, uh, make sure you don't mess with this bolt here at all. I made a mistake uh, and I flipped it around to get better uh, angle at, at that guy and just put my wrenches on the wrong thing. Uh, that's what happens with an, when an IT guy tries to be a mechanic. So I torqued it down and then I couldn't find a torque spec called uh, I called Kurt and they talked to their engineer and being as I torqued that down I could have caused a stress fracture uh, so they would not you know warranty that any longer had to buy a new one it's on its way and it costs as much almost as much as the hitch well about half the price of the hitch for this piece and uh, the piece that goes in here and all of that is one unit so that's a bolt you don't want to touch ever um, you don't check it you don't do anything so yeah um, this one here that one is a hundred uh, foot-pounds my problem is that my uh, deep well socket would not get all the way down on it and the more I torqued it the more together came the bolt raises and I just barely got enough on it in fact you might be able to see the scrapes on the edges there so but I got it to a hundred and then put the uh, safety bolt on top and those I think they're they're 60 um, you have to check the manual I don't remember they're 50 or 60 but I think they're 60 and you know uh, then you've got your set bolts here uh, and there's no torque spec on that you just tighten them down good there's no no torque spec on this set either so I think I put it at um, I think I put it at about uh, 30 30 or 40 pounds of torque just to get it set now they say you're supposed to check these things every time you take a trip or you thousand miles that's uh, was a very big negative, but uh, the weight savings and so forth, I, I decided to do it anyway. So the pain of this installation, which I guess if you're sponsored, you don't really talk about this. I haven't heard anybody talk about this. They go, they say something, yeah, you put that at 300 pounds. You know, you just kind of run over the top of the fact that that has to be 300 foot pounds. Um, that's not easy. I have a three quarter inch torque wrench and then a 30 millimeter socket on there. And then I had to, you know, hold the other side. I, I would recommend two 30 um, millimeter sockets to put this in. But I guess the back side you could also do with a with a wrench, but it's going to be kind of angled because this goes this goes in a little it's not the whole bolt is not sticking out so the bolt head but anyway uh, two th 30 millimeter sockets you can get I got mine at Home Depot um, and torque that baby down I got it down to 300 but with a large three-quarter inch torque wrench the top end was 300 it was really, really difficult because everything wants to move and, and so forth when you're torquing it down that much. Uh, it took me a long time. I watched several videos on, you know, where where does this go? Should it slide forward or should it slide back? Well, I saw some from e-trailer that the guy slid it all the way this side. So that's what I ended up doing. And then I measured uh, from from here to the to the back and I think that was um, 25 and a quarter. So just get both of those even. Uh, you know, that, that made me feel good that it was, you know, pretty square. So, um, my one tow that I've done so far, I'll be towing to Florida here after 
uh, uh, another month, I guess. And I can, you know, update this, but uh, there was no, no chucking at all. So I was, I was, you know, really happy with it. But uh, one of the main things that I am super happy about is, you know, I, I had a, a slider. So then, you know, if you're going to not do a slider, then you're going to have to just not do, not do 90 degree turns. Which, of course, you almost never have to do anyway. But I, um, uh, there's a lot of reflection there. Sorry. But I did a 90 degree turn and I had a good four inches of clearance. And that's with this Moride hitch, which may be a little longer. I don't know. Um, and that with its offset. And I think there's, you know, the, there's a combination of the, um, the gooseneck balls position and the cross wings offset. And I did a bunch of research on this and you know, even though it's offset, it is putting most of the weight on that uh, goose ball back there. I got the Kurt goose ball. Um, so, I mean, there's gonna be some weight on the rest of this or on the front of that, uh, just because of, you know, the torque but from what I understand, it's pretty minimal. All right, so that should do it for my Kurt Crosswing versus the uh, Demco uh, Recon uh, hitches, fifth wheeled hitches. So, thank you for listening. Hey, can you maybe hit like or something <laughs> or, or join the channel? I mean, I, I need more than five. Do I have five? Maybe I only have three. Or maybe it's four. I don't know. So it'll be cool. Uh, set a goal for maybe a hundred, and I mean that'd be that'd be awesome. Again, no sponsorships. I don't need to sponsor. I'm I'm okay. I don't need to make you know fifty cents because you bought something that I suggested. Whatever I show and suggest, it's going to be uh, because I use it and it works for me. All right. Thank you. Thanks for listening.